Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back to Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. I, you know, I don't think I explained last time why I'm recording in... I remember I was saying I was just recording the screen rather than just the game. Um, sometimes the game went black in the recording, even though the game itself didn't go black. Like, the screen would, would just be black in it. I can't remember if it was in the six videos that I uh, of the first set, or if it was in the audio tests. But that happened, so that's why I'm recording using full screen. Also, I had a look at, I listened to the recording, and I noticed the audio levels were once again off. I'm dropping that to 20. And actually, drop that to 20. This is an impossible to b audio balance thing. Normally, I run around, act like an idiot for a moment, and Evan's audio balanced and fine. But for this, there's either little to no music, little to no effects and sounds, or there's all. The universe runs out of special effects, runs out of magic for the one fight. Um, and music. So it's really awkward to audio test. So basically, I'm probably going to be still audio testing it by the time I make it to Act 4. Hopefully not. Um, I haven't tested this or anything. Tempting lowering this, but that might make the haze start acting up again. Okay, I'm going to drop that to 80. Same with this. Um, I'll leave the music on 100 just to keep the haze under control. There's a like, weird audio haze. Um, if it's too low, you can boost it up and you can adjust it. I think... T I know, I have a feeling. The all, game's audio c can cover me, but you can... Be, you're more likely to be able to distinguish the game's audio from my own voice. But not my voice from the game's audio. Like, say if there's a big spell effect going off while I'm talking. You probably won't be able to understand what the fuck I'm saying. But you'll be able to tell there's a big spell effect going off if I'm talking over it. You know? Hmm. Alright. Seriously, I'm already after playing five and a half hours. Bloody hell! And that's not like I was doing the audio tests on this character. I was doing the audio tests on the Demon Hunter. Bloody, bloody hell. Alright, let's continue. And hope the audio levels are at the right fucking level. Like, once again, I'm rather tired. Wait, Act 5? There's an Act 5? Yes. Sorry. Uh, I remember now. I thought uh, the Reaper of Souls Act added in Act 4, but no, it added in Act 5. I think, honestly, I'm getting confused with, um, I know that fucking portal's gone. Honestly, I think I'm getting confused with, uh, excuse me, Dungeon Siege 2. Uh, when you complete Act 3, you have to get a, uh, an expansion to actually finish the game. It gives you Act 4, that where you get to kill the true bad guy. And I never got it, sadly. Don't remember why, but it just never did. Let's just make damn sure I've gotten everything here. And like I said, quite regrettably, I'm not going to... Maybe I should hold on to this. I'm not going to be able to do all the, the season stuff. And I won't be able to transfer this character over to, uh, to the um, new season. And I'm not fancy re restarting. So I'm just going to continue this character after the season's done. As I remember hearing, that's a new thing they're adding in. It's something like... Basically, that apparently before, you couldn't actually continue a character, um, a seasonal character, once the season was over. Which honestly seems kind of shit, to be honest. Um, okay. Let's start, go back here and start breaking stuff down. Okay. Repair all. Salvage. 
No. Cool helm, but no. I actually do like that design, but no. 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 Yes. No. 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 New. Oh, I actually got an emerald. Won't be using that. I feel uncomfortable using like em gems and whatnot until I've actually unlocked the person. I only unlocked the person accidentally there. Um, uh, like the jeweler and all that because I went into adventure mode to see what the fuck it was like. As I've never even acknowledged it previously. But I don't want to use adventure mode stuff. Well, use people until I've actually unlocked them. We'll rip these Christ. To shreds. Of course. We have to have fucking... Uh, we have to have fuck you know, rares right with the treasure goblin. Follow the bastard. Smack him around. Come on. Uh, taunt. Actually, taunt means nothing to the treasure goblin. Actually, yeah, if I just do this, my character will just keep smacking. I'm injured. Christ. I'm not a fan of this positioning. There's too many goddamn enemies here. Not enough wrath, not yet. Come on, one. Bastard! One. I'm One, three. Taunt. Charge. My wrath is Thank low. you. Let's get rid of these burrowing fucking leapers. I must wait longer. Bastard, the lot of them. If the goblin had kept running, I would have killed it. But of course, they'd have to flee into a horde of these fucking enemies. And then there's constantly spawning plague bats helping it out. Not that they're probably doing much, but still, every little bit pisses me off. I require more rat. But anyway, Deus Vault and all that. Actually, Not speaking of yet. Deus Vault, probably should I've been tempted in doing a Crusader two, Kings two Ooh, let's play, as well as a Crusader. I've tried one before in the past, but lost interest. But uh, uh, no. I'm feeling more uh, dedicated to it this time. I'm also tempted in the Europa rat. Universalis playthrough, as well as the Hearts of Iron one. Um, when would I get around to it? When would I do it? I have no idea. Uh, it'll be at some stage down the line. Um, But I like I like to like when it comes to the DLC for the games, I like to wait till it's all out. But the one issue with like Crusader Kings 2 and all these games I'm listing, they're yeah, except parts of Iron. Crusader Kings 2 and Europa Euro Universalis, they've been out for years. So 2012 at the very earliest. Maybe 2013, 14. But it's now late 2060. And they're still coming out with DLC for them. Why? Because they're from Paradox Entertainment, and they keep their games like, like their games alive for quite a while, or at least they keep these grand strategy games alive for a long while. So I have a feeling that I won't be, you know, dealing with them for a fair bit. But anyway, this shield is better all around. Slightly higher toughness, higher recovery. I won't get extra life for rats spent, but instead I'll just inherently regen life, which is quite nice. It also reduces the cooldown of all skills by 5%, and reduces resource costs by 4. Enemies also give uh, 18 extra experience. This also has a 17% chance to block, compared to that shield 16. And including its plus 1 from its primary tanks. So, all as well. Ooh, and I could have, if I had rolled better, gotten 61%... Well, uh, sorry, not 61%, 60 life, 61 life per second. Nice. And I actually did roll quite well with the reduce, reduction of cooldown. It was either 3 or 5, 3 to 5%, and I got 5%. So, not bad. 
wonder if you can get like 3.1. Anyway. Well, that was a nuisance. Huh. Well, don't mind me. Ooh, woot. Well, let's take down th this uh, pack. Or just walk on through. Don't mind me, just coming on through. Four. Four dunk. One, two, three. Start smacking. But I'm just gonna hold down one because uh, that gives me the bonus to blocking, and if you block, you explode and do AOE damage. Really nice. That's awesome. Actually, uh, one thing that I would love to do is get higher torns because, you know, this character class really benefits from having high torns. With all the enemies wailing on you, may as well may as well make them start bleeding themselves to death for, for doing so. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed I glitching well. into this fucking disturbing bath. Okay, Drum, you do you, because no one else will, because you're fucking disturbing. Like seriously. Actually, what was that enemy called? A Wood Whaler? That's the name of the Lancers from uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Game I actually need to get back to recording. Same with WoW and a dozen other series. This is an awkward upload at present because um, when I was uploading the audio test for this, uh, YouTube was actually like, I'll upload, say, I'll, I didn't name these audio tests, bar the last one. But I'll upload these audio tests and they'll have the date and the, no and the time. That it was recorded at as its name. It was the default naming thing um, on my computer. Um, Mid Garzoam over there. Anyway, I would be uploading these onto YouTube. And I would upload one and it would, it would upload weirdly. It wouldn't upload to like the normal thing. Like all of a sudden it already has the thumbnails. Even though those thumbnails don't typically only turn up when you've already uh, when the a thing is finished uploading or is processing, there's like two bars to it: uploading and processing. It, either you have to get through processing or uploading. Uh, I don't remember which, but eventually you get thumbnails. But for some reason, when you're uploading some things, you already get thumbnails. And when you go into the video, it's one you've already uploaded. They were only picking. The Diablo ones that I just uploaded, though. They weren't picking any random episode. Only the recent ones. But they were still uploading things that I wasn't after, you know. Uh, they're still uploading things that... Um, I wasn't after selecting. And when I got to the final audio test, it took me three, four times. The first three failed. If they were uploading things I've already uploaded. I really need to talk to YouTube about this. Because I upload in bulk. And I can't be just checking each video. And comparing it to every other video on my channel. Keep, keep in mind I have nearly 3,000 videos. Well, sorry, nearly 4,000 videos. At, at, on my channel. More on my computer to be uploaded. And I can't be checking my computer each time. To make sure, uh, about well, checking uh, what I've uploaded each time to make sure YouTube hasn't shot the bed. So, yeah, it's concerning. Patience. It's also incredibly annoying. Um. <sighs> Also, I do realize uh, miss, there was a lore I didn't read there on these guys. Also, it's Wood Rate, not Wood Whaler. At least this one's called a Wood Rate. Nothing stops nice. That, that, this, and four. Blessed Hammers, uh, Thunderstruck. No real interest in me. I got a new active skill, Judgment.
Okay, I have to wait till that comes off cooldown. 27, I get flanks. Ooh, I can get condemn. Um, hmm, this is interesting. Build up my massive explosion and unleash, un unleashing it after 3 seconds, dealing 1160 weapon damage is holy, though enemies within 15 yards. Vacuum. As the explosion charges up, it sucks in enemies. The closer it is to exploding, the more enemies it sucks in. The explosion now unleashes instantly. Uh, eternal retaliation. Reduce cooldown by 1 second for each enemy hit by the explosion. 15 seconds. You can actually, if you hit 15 enemies with it, you can cast it again. Straight away. Shattering explosion. Increase the damage radius to 20 yards. And reciprocate. 50% of all damage taken while the explosion is building is added to the damage of the explosion. That's nice. Yeah, we're going with Condemn. That means I have an extra damaging attack. Because at, at present, I have 3. And... I mean, to be honest, I feel rather lacking in that. One, three, four, boom. And move over. Fine, do it there. That'll, that'll work. Wasn't well, as powerful or flashy as I was hoping, but it'll work Not all enough, the right. same. Not yet. Not sure, did I interrupt my um, explosion there or not? Meh. I'm sure all is well. Oh, Christ. Do you mean to unleash that on myself? Wonder, would I have taken that? This is, I was the one to unleash it there. Would Not I have taken yet. damage? Actually, wait. I've. The uh, wall traps have fallen on me before. Uh, you know, fallen masonry and whatnot. And I've been fine, so no, I would have been hunky dory. Also, look how much money I already have 60 grand. Crusader only shield. Not bad how, uh, armor. One. Okay. No, not a fan. Okay, I need to take you down. Two. Kaboom, baby. Need to take uh, Big Boy down here. Because Big Boy is an utter fucking nuisance. Okay. Hmm. Need to find that glowing cave, uh, the cave with the glowing sword shard. It's around here somewhere. I just don't know where because the map's after being rejigged. I'm not really a fan of just killing random bats. They just never seem to stop coming. And would you stop charging off a well? He's really fucking eager to kill these plague carriers. I can do them. I can. You know, if that's what he's into, fair enough. But just do it on his own time. You know, not on company hours. Patience. Come on, explode, explode, explode. Boom. Nice. And he was quite nicely there to heal me. Because he thought I needed it. Which I kind of did, really. Okay. We need to get rid of this asshole. Do this, do this, do this. When it explodes, do this. Nice. Come on. Batter him down, batter him down. The Witch Doctor is actually really powerful. Um, but I remember going through here a lot easier. Uh, just with the Witch Doctor. Like, you just had uh, so much damage potential. This character is a lot more tanky. I enjoyed that. Um, a lot more tanky than the Witch Doctor. Which makes sense. It, it does mean, though, that fights go on a lot longer. And actually... Actually, no. Hmm. 
not sure that's true. I was going to say that uh, that death to Yorick yesterday was my first.